is because today we are having an old school sleepover and you're all yeah. invited. Okay, so here's the plan. First, you know we've got to talk about boys and yes. one of the ultimate crush worthy guys is here. Mario Lopez is stopping by. <laughs> We'll show you how to make some snacks that are just perfect for the summer party crowd. Plus, we may be grown, but you know we've still got to play Truth or Dare, and you do not want to miss that. So grab your sleeping bags and pillows, and let's do this, shall we? Yes. 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 Like, I'm obsessed with slumber parties. Like, as a child, every year I had a birthday party and it was uh -huh. always a slumber party. Really? Yes, you guys oh, didn't have a fun house. Wow. Yeah, we had a fun house. It was like 12 little girls running around. Did you guys have sleepover parties? As yes, people? yes, absolutely. Well, I, I I wasn't really allowed to go over to yeah, other people people's come houses. Yeah, to our house. Yeah. yeah. My, yeah. my parents never trusted the other family. <laughs> yeah. So they all were only allowed but to come over. They trusted our family. Little right? did they know the things that was going on in our own home. And did you guys remember, like, Playing little games like crank calling was really oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Like we all had our favorite love songs. So we would call the boy that we liked. <laughs> and then we, so mine was Jodeci, Come and Talk to Me. No. Why are you being an urban yeah. household? <laughs> so I would call the boy that I liked and I would just play the song and we would play it until we couldn't stop laughing and then we would hang up. So you'd call your boy and you'd play the song. I've done that. Did you guys used to play a lot of like board games? No. Like card yes. games? You remember the allowed. old maid? Do y'all remember the old yes. maid? Yes. We couldn't play cards in our house, so old maid is what we had. That's what we had too. Yeah. I always got the old maid and I used to cry. That's terrible. I know, right? <laughs> So, Lonnie, did you have a slumber party? No. 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 We live in the Is this your first? We can't sleep over each other's house. <laughs> I did too. We crammed a bunch of kids in like a living room all over the floor. No, uh-uh. I mean, it that was like normal nice... for us. If it was a bunch of people <laughs> in the house. I was gonna say, that did was... you have like sleepover parties with your cousins? No. Your... No? No, but what I did used to do uh, Girl Scouts, it was like my sleepover. Yeah. So like, we went to camp. We would have a little camp area yeah. and we would all like, it was all of the us girls. Okay. So I got that feeling. So I didn't miss out too much. Don't worry, America. <laughs> no, wait, you, I have a question. Did any of you guys ever hear of frozen bras? Did you ever what? take each other's underclothes and put it in the what freezer? Kind of and then the next morning, they're like, uh -uh, well, where's, my, well, where's okay. my bra? And you're like, I don't know, check the freezer. Did y'all do jello shots? <laughs> you guys, oh, my mom it. would always try to be the cool one. And when I would, my friends would come over, she would serve, like she would make like 250 egg rolls and just pass out egg rolls all night. Eat the egg roll, egg roll, good for you. You too skinny, eat egg roll. And then, you she know what? It's a joke in there, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let you all figure it out, America. You can it, bro. You can like it. It's and then we would go into my mom's. I my got mom it, Lonnie. I got the joke. <laughs> I got it. Get it? Are you guys late. done laughing at it. me? Oh, get the laughs out. Okay, another thing we she love your mom, by the way. We get more she material. She don't care if you love her or not. Trust me. <laughs> you will see. And another thing she would do, she wears a lot of makeup, and she had, like, you know, her. she's got big kahungas. Mm -hmm. We would put on my mom's bras and put on her makeup all the time and walk around oh. in her bras and pretend to be <laughs> Olivia Mai <laughs> and stuff Kleenex. No? No, we was not allowed to do that. So what would I you do with that? You not go in your parents' room, you had a sleepover. Not in my house. Yeah, our parents' that, room that was, was a off no, limit. No. My parents' room wasn't like hot or like that. Like we could, I could like sleep in my mom's bed with my friends. It wasn't really. really? Yeah. Could yeah. they call your mother by her first name too? No. Oh yeah. No. See, that, that's like a different kind of house. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah no. we're from New York. It was, it was I Miss think it was like it's, not, it's a Preston, southern thing. Honey. Yep. Yeah, because in New York, nobody says Miss, Ma'am, none of that. Really? Wait, no, but they, my mom would let my friends call her by her first name, but they had to say Miss, so it'd be like Miss Francis. Yes. Yeah, you know? no, they yeah, would call yeah. my mom Nilda. Wait, Hi, for, Nilda? Your guys, <laughs> for your guys' moms that seemed a little bit more traditional or strict, when your friends were gone, would they tell you exactly which friend they liked and which one they didn't based on their manners? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Mine yeah. would say she, she didn't say thank you. Mm -mm. She don't say thank you. I don't want her in my house again. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Truly. Wait. My mom would screen them before. Oh. Yeah. My mom would screen them ah. before they came over. How can you screen when you, somebody? When you just, you have your, you know, soccer games, you have, you know, you have your little oh, events. No, so if I wanted to invite, let's just say Jessica over, she would say, no, I don't like Jessica. Jessica's not coming over. Yeah, I, don't I know like I would have never bangs. got invited to your uh, house. I don't say that, Lonnie. Wait, this is true. <laughs> Every slumber party had one girl that was a little bit more 
Everybody. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. Our dance. Yeah, no. And she would lead you to do the things that were a little she wasn't more. Allowed I, have, in our house. I have a story that <laughs> happened. So one time. I felt really, really bad because, you know, my mom was one of the leaders in church and I had all the kids come over to my house, but I was probably the kid that, you know... You was the fast one. You were the fast one. I did say I was fast. But for people that live in New York, at the time, there was a channel called Channel 35 and it was an all act, like a public oh access channel. Right. That after a certain time, it was like the Discovery Channel, if you know okay. what I'm saying. What's wrong with Discovery Channel? What was oh, on the channel? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Yeah, what kind of this Discovery Channel? It grown up. Enjoy the story. Channel. I'll tell you later. You know, Are we Jean, really I remember love? that song, Let's Do It Like Mammals. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, I got it. And I we got do it. it like they do on okay. the Discovery Channel. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. And, and that was, like, <laughs> devastating to me because one of the girls was not cool. And she she went home and told on me. <laughs> she told her mom, Adrian made us watch it and I fell hard. <laughs> yeah, right, girl, you was into it. <laughs> Lies. She was deaf and she went and told, and I was mortified, mortified. Not only mortified that, like, my mom now knew, which is, yeah. but, like, other people knew. So let me break it down for everybody, <laughs> all right? Adrian was the fast girl no! at the slumber party. Tamara Curious. was the slow girl yeah. at the slumber party. <laughs> Okay, well, would you guys ever start talking through the night of your favorite crushes, your boy crushes? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Okay, well, I don't know if you guys felt the way I did, but at that time, my boy was Jordan Knight from New Kids yes! on the Block. Really? I yes, I, I, I had his Barbie. I was into Donnie, he was Thug Life, yeah. but <laughs> I, I remember so pretty. they had Barbie dolls and, and they had earrings, the dolls. Yes. They were boys sure with earrings. Did. I you thought that was that too? Yes, that was my first concert. Really? Yes, you and I got, to, uh -huh, and I got to meet him. I put my hand on his chest. I thought I was really made. I was a little girl. So you got you touched touch Jordan you Knight? Touched Jordan I touched Knight? him on his chest and stuff like that. Wow. Timar, you're so lucky. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Right? He didn't think nothing of it. Nigga. I had the posters on my wall and everything. He was so hot. Who was your, your boy crush at the time? Uh, Sammy Davis Jr. I can't. <laughs> what? You can't make fun of me with my Jack Nicholson anymore. No, but you, you guys. <laughs> that is I, was, boy I was 10, okay? I, That's worse. Because he was the candy man. He sung about candy. And I was like, that yeah. is my man. That cannot be a crush. I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't believe you either. Wait, who is yours? Okay. Singer? L. L. Cool. Oh. Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh, say. <laughs> Gawking over my homegirl man, cause I don't do that. But back then I was definitely gawking. Okay. Wow. Back then, let me tell you, I, I missed the school bus one day, cause don't y'all don't remember that song I Need Love? Used to be my yeah. 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 I mean, it used, to, yeah. used to be the way he rapped and stuff, right? Well, so you don't you remember with... back in the day? I don't know about y'all little young tadpoles over here on the other side of the table, but us older fish over here. You know, don't we used include to... me in that. But it's okay. It's okay to be a little old fish. I'm, I'm an old fish. I enjoy it. But you know, back then was the good life. We used to have cassette tapes, and when the radio played, you hit that record button, honey, yes. and you get your song instant gratification, right? So what I did, I used to write down his rap so I could learn them real fast and get on yes. the bus. Like, oh, I know this song right here. When you know, I love it. Yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And I swear I'm not saying this because he's here to them, but like. I really had a crush on Slater. Those dimples? Yeah. He was cute. He was cute. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. I mean, look at that face. He's giving me the... Yeah. What's up, Mom? You thought he was looking at you on the poster. I sure did. <laughs> well, Mario is on the show today, so I hope you'll be able to keep Contain your hands it. off of him. Keep it together. Because I won't. OK. <laughs> used to watch The Sandlot. Remember The Sandlot movie? Yes! Okay. Mine was Mike Vitar. He was the Jet Who Rodriguez. Was he was the Latino. Oh! Yes. He's so hot! He's so hot! Yes! And I, I still have a thing, you know, for baseball players, because my, my husband, he, he played oh, baseball. Girl. So Adam. I... How did I, Adam I just, get into our conversation? Because... Okay, Sip Bay, honey. Adam, 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 Adam. Baseball? Baseball! <laughs> Sandlot was... I love, love, love that movie. At the time, would you guys also talk about your crushes in school? Like, did anything exciting ever happen with your crushes? Yes, don't you remember writing your name? 
And, and putting Came like- on LL with a heart, yes. all of your books. Yes! Again, I had a whole bunch of crushes. I used to love me some LB Shore too, honey. Them thighs and that curly hair, that was my judge. Yes. My you, remember how you, would, you would put somebody's name and your name and then you add up the numbers. Oh, this is so scientific. Yes! yes. yes. If y'all go together. I did And that. I used to always make it so that, and manipulate it so that it would automatically go together. I, I thought my name was gonna be Tamar B. Shaw. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I did. You guys, when I think about my childhood, I think about my first kiss. Uh oh. I do. Who was but we have to define like what, your first you kiss. You was what, 25? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you like that. I'm gonna lie to you, but well, that was funny. How old well, are you? <laughs> well, I was actually eight, Lonnie. What? <laughs> It was okay, like, okay. it was one of those, you know, like a scene in a movie, you see a cute guy. I had a really cute neighbor. His name was Jimmy, I still remember him. And he had really, really Hi, light Jimmy. eye. And um, you had your first kiss before I had my first yes! kiss. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, I want to hear that. I made up for lost time, okay? You, so. did. you did. No, it was just one of those things like, hey. Who kissed dude, first? What do you mean? Out of did the... he come at you or did you go We did it him? together. We were like, one. Two, three. Oh, y'all count it. Uh -huh. Yes. That is so Did he cute. Try? Did at he eight, try? what do you expect me to do at eight, Lonnie? No, yeah, just go it. for it. Yeah. No. I'm That's that... so uneventful, Tamara. Dang it. Wait, wait, wait. I was eight. Like the I was eight. Wait, wait, what guys, happened after guys, that? When That's you, it. If you knew how to peck, did you guys ever practice? On your oh, own, oh, on my, on my hand. I still practice on my own. You remember doing this one? Easy, you remember doing that where you turn around and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> yes. You remember that? My mama my mother. scared me because she told me that if I open my mouth when I kiss, I get pregnant. So <laughs> I was like, <laughs> for about 10 years, I did wow. that. What was your guys' first kiss like? <clears throat> I was 14. Okay. Really? Wow, that was I my high eat. school boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. It was good. One was good. Like, but did you know how to, so did you kiss like that or did you kiss? I kissed like, because <laughs> I didn't want to get I pregnant. Did. So. So wait, so at what point did you kiss that same boy the real way later? Yeah. When I, we were about to graduate. I mean, that's when I really, yeah. Opened your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Move on. Do you remember though, like, when you, for the first time, when you, for the first time. We're about time, to get too real up in. <laughs> <laughs> when you, for the first time, kissed the grown up way, you feel so, like all the stuff that swirls in your yeah, tummy and you just, I didn't know that. I was in high school, honey. No, middle school. Middle school? Yeah, Who was, was your first kid? <laughs> like right before, well, middle school went to like, what is it, eighth grade, right? It was eighth grade. And right before like my fifth period class, he was just, yeah. Really? <laughs> it was the best part of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed myself immensely. My he had a little hot sauce face. I was really, he was a little thick. I'm like, I like, I was really getting my life. Like, for real, I ain't know it. Yeah. I used to kiss in the staircases of school. Oh, the you look like you did. I got in trouble for kissing spot. What? Shut up, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> my first kiss actually was in a staircase, but it wasn't in school. Oh, Lord. I was in a church play, and, and we had to wait in the stairs of the church play. It was like a... Uh, I didn't want to say his name. You remember she the fast one at No! Yes. I, I was 12. I was 12. I was like 12. And I remember the boy that I kissed, Jerry Heredia. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I will never forget that he had a grape nabulator in his mouth. Oh! Yes. Yes. But, switch but, back and forth. but grape to me tasted like Dimatap. Oh, no. Oh. So I was like, was he, is he sick? Did he have Dimatap? <laughs> like, that was what I thought. How corny is that? But his mouth tastes like grape, and I remember thinking it tastes like Dimatap. All right, Jamie, <laughs> spill your tea, honey. You can't be sitting around waiting for everybody else. Okay, so I lived next door to my best friend who had big brothers. I had a crush on, <laughs> on her big brother. They knew we were having a slumber party. They knocked on the window. We opened the window. They were in my room. We snuck them in, three boys. Hold so on, you I... had three boys in your bedroom, yes. and you called me the fast one? <laughs> I didn't want them to come away. So the bottle ends between them two. All the girls are pushing you like, kiss, kiss, yeah. kiss. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't want him to think that I liked him. So I just, I didn't know who it landed on. I closed my eyes and I stuck out my lips. And his name is Darion Brown. He reached out. He was he black? Yes. <laughs> yes, he was black. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What the course, darling? What am I going to do? It's 
Yeah. Yeah. We know Jean. So anyway, yes. Like okay. 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 Carry on, and Brown. <laughs> Carry on, and I knew that. Black Brown. What is wrong? Okay, so Darion came forward. Uh, he kissed me. He I opened forth. my eyes. I couldn't believe that he had kissed me because then I felt like he liked me because yeah. the bottle was in the middle. He backed up and he said, you taste like egg rolls. <gasps> Let's be honest. The one thing you always pack for a sleepover is a sweet tooth. Forget counting calories. Yummy snacks are the only things that count. So throw on your PJs, head to the kitchen because right now it's time to whip up some snoozy snacks. <laughs> may not be having sleepovers of your own anymore, but these are the perfect treats to make for your kids' slumber parties. Okay, Adrian, show us what you got. All right, now I'm gonna show you a sweet treat that'll make you wanna snuggle up with a blanket. It's called Cozy in a Bed. So first, you're actually gonna take a long snack cake like this and put it on top of a graham cracker, and this will pretty much like be your body on your snack. Next, take one large marshmallow and put that on the top of the cracker to create a pillow but you're actually gonna use some frosting to Ooh. stick it onto the graham cracker so it doesn't move mm. like that. Thanks. Yeah. Next, you'll make a blanket with some fruity snacks like this. I think this is so cute. You just put that on top like that. And then finally, dress it up. So you use different frostings to create a face, some hair, and some banging makeup. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. <laughs> this is some black frosting. Okay, that's an interesting eye, don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> then I'm gonna use this for some lipstick. She's rocking a nude peach. Yes. She likes it. She's got Angelina Jolie lips. Wow. <laughs> yes. And then we're gonna give her some caramel golden blonde locks. Ooh. She's got a long weave. It's coming over her blanket. Now, wow. Yes. Well, yeah, she's beat, girl. You feel it? But when you're all done, it's actually gonna look like this. Yes. Wow. Very good idea. So we love our beauty sleep, but slumber parties are all about staying up late, right, you guys? So if you're not having sweet dreams, you might as well bake some. I'm gonna show you how to make some adorable eye masks that you can eat. First, all you have to do is take some sugar cookie dough. You take a circular cookie cutter to create a shape that frames your eyes. Bink. Just like that, right? Take it out, put it on your actual baking sheet like that. Connect the circles like so, so they create kind of like an eye mask shape mm -hmm. or a cute little butt. Then take a <laughs> straw and you use this to be the hole puncher on each side. Just kind of like dip it into the hole, dip it into the hole like that. Then, just for fun color, you take the red vines and you actually use this to string it through once it's baked. When they're done baking, this is time to decorate it with some sprinkles and what I like to decorate, the real. That's really cute, honey. You like them, Tamar? Yes, oh, that's I like really cute. This. I think it's I cute. got something that's better. Okay, okay let's because see. Because when I think of a sleepover, nothing says cozy to me like some slippers, right? Well, I'm gonna make me some sweet slipper-shaped treats that'll make you feel right at home. So first you take some peanut butter cookies, which is my favorite. You, cut, you put it in half, and then, <laughs> and then you scrape out the peanut butter feeling like that, right? And it. then you mix up some peanut butter, unsalted butter, salt, powdered sugar, and whipping cream, and stick it in the microwave until it becomes really super uber thick, just like this. Ooh. You like that too? Yep, yep, that's goodness. You made super And fun. then you just scoop it out, and you put it onto the cookie just like this. Look how interesting that is. Won't he do it? Yes. And so next, you're gonna take a brush, brush over, Mm-hmm, some pink melted chocolate. Oh. Look at that, look, 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 look. And then you take the, um, the sugary pink sprinkles. Look at that, oh. I won. Let me show you what it really supposed to look like. Ow! Say that these are not some fuzzy, yummy slippers. Get your life, what it tastes like. Yum, it's so good! Yeah. That's really cute. No sleepover is complete without a chance to gush over an old school crush. Lucky for us, my crush is joining the party. He's got dimples that make a swoon and a little something extra in the ab department. Actor, host, and author of the new book, Just Between Us, let's roll out a sleeping bag for Mario Lopez. Yeah! Yeah. 
Ash, we need you to go over and spin the key. I am so comfortable to Whatever it lands on, you gotta do. All right, yeah. sounds good. Your guilty Look pleasure. This. I can't this wait is to great, hear about well, let's this. Let's talk about this for a second. Yes. It's all comfy right here. Right. Thank you for inviting me to your pajama no. party. It's a good one. So I think I you got right too now? many buttons buttoned up on right. your shirt. <laughs> well, this is ironic because I don't even sleep in pajamas. You know, I go nature boy. I, oh, right. When I sleep, so. But I could not. No, but I, I could, right, keep it real, but I couldn't keep it too real, because then right. that would be like. Producers wouldn't allow that. Right, but, exactly. But wait, what was you the have question? to tell us, what is your guilty <laughs> here's pleasure? A, here's my view on that. Whenever I'm getting any kind of pleasure, I don't feel guilty about it. Won't he do it? <laughs> so, is that wow. your answer? But that is an amazing answer. OK, what fair enough. Know? Well, you, like I just said earlier, I don't know if you heard, you were my childhood crush. Oh, get out. And <laughs> since it's a slumber party, I want to ask you, who was your childhood crush? Crush. Um, I think uh, growing up, every every guy uh, like my generation had a crush on Alyssa Milano and Who's the yes. Boss. Yes, oh, oh, I love, and she's so sweet. And I must have told her, well, every time I see her, I tell her that I have to interview her. You know, Mario, back in the day, you could rock a mean Jerry curl. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now here's the thing. So cute. The thing about it is, it was a bad combination of a Jerry curl and a mullet. Right? Yes. But it was now both an unintentional that. mullet and an unintentional jerry curl. Because uh -huh. the curl, the curl wasn't even real. I'm going to give you a little tidbit from the book. They used to have to perm my hair. Shut up! Yes. Yes. Because they wanted me to look more ethnic, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Like I got being you. Mexican ain't enough. Okay. And so, <laughs> they had a, but you know, you want the job. So, yeah, curl yeah. it, shave it, cut okay. it, whatever you want. Yeah. And so that was the deal with that. And then I didn't even know I had the mullet going on. I, I was just like, not until, because we didn't have that word, I think, back then. That was like right. a new age word, mullet. Uh huh. You know what I mean? You was like a redneck yeah. Latino. That's what you were. I don't know what was going yeah. on. With, yeah. with some extra ethnic hair. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, yeah, with exactly. Yeah. Super ethnic hair. I love that. Yeah. Well, you just released your sixth book, yes. wow. Just Between Us. And your other books are about fitness and cooking, but this one is all about your personal stories and very, very juicy well, story. You know, I think the other books, as far as you mentioned, you know, I've always written about stuff that I'm passionate about. Okay. And, and health and fitness I'm passionate about and, and family. Your I've fitness written. I'm passionate about. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Donnie, stay you with know, got, Okay. Uh, right, ch children's good. books that yeah. I got them. And um, turning 40, you know, I, I feel it's an important age uh, for a man to sort of pause and reflect how he got there. Oh. And it's really all about the lessons mm -hmm. that I've learned in my life and the mistakes that I've made. And there's been a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And when you're going to do something like this, you got to be completely unfiltered and just yeah. kind of put yeah. it all out there. And you know what? I own up to my mistakes, right. and I'm man enough to, to admit to them. Uh, but the important thing is um, I, I have learned from them, and I feel I'm a much better man, far from perfect, better than I was. And I think mm -hmm. you're always Tell constantly uh, evolving growing. you know, as a person and growing, yes. Good answer. Good job. Good answer. OK, so in your book, you have some crazy stories, like the story about your father bringing something very interesting across the Mexican border. Right. Do you tell. Well, you know, I grew up in uh, Chula Vista, and long story short, my dad, let's just say, had to do what he had to do to right. take care of the family. <laughs> and I'll leave you with that. <laughs> I'll feed them It was, yeah, maybe, you know, you get into the book, but it's kind of like, it's a surprise. I think people are going to learn a lot about the uh, about me and, and my situation, my background, and, you know, what, what I had to do to kind of, you know. My dad did what he had to do, and he left, so that helped us. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, my mom and dad are together now 43 years. He wow, never left, but, wow, you know, that's yeah. Wow, that's Exactly, exactly. Well, Mario, we had the pleasure of hosting together when I was at Extra for yes. a couple of years. I learned so much from you. Oh, but I never got to ask you, since you've been hosting since 2008, has anybody thrown you shade during an interview? You know, I haven't gotten major shade thrown my way. I mean, there's definitely some people that are, that are a lot cooler than others. Okay. Let's just say, I actually get into that, coincidentally, in, in the book. And so, so, so I draw, you know, I draw names, and I, I, I keep it real. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So I keep it real. I mean, there's all these great people that have come through, and that are just, you can tell, they're genuine and authentic, and they're fun. And then, you know, there's some folks that I feel like saying, yo, at least fake it. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 At least fake it, because I, I don't really want to be here either. But <laughs> we, we got to talk about your movie. But, you know. Once in a while. Yeah. For the most part, though, I've been really lucky. You guys are all cool. I've had the opportunity to meet you all individually and other things. So they're they're for real and they're sweethearts. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Welcome back to our.
Slumber Party. We've been getting all the juicy details from Mario Lopez about his new book, Just Between Us. Mario, my slumber parties always ended with a Saturday morning dose of Saved by the Bell. They so, ended? Wow. That yes. means you were partying all night. Okay. Yeah, oh, well. So today, we're sending you back to school. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Mario, are you ready to play Saved by the Bell? Ready. Oh, no, ma I'm horrible math at math. math. Okay, you... It's my worst subject. All right, you I'm have to about... solve all oh my of God. these problems, we'll be okay? here all day. All right, I'll help you. I'm your teacher. Okay, oh, you want to... Okay, come on. Go! Uh, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Carry the 1, 6, 7, 8, 82. Okay. Uh, Carry... That, 3, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. 29. Yes, yes, yes. 29. Yes. Uh, 56. Yes. 2 goes into 48. How many times? 2 times... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? No. 24! Yes. Thank God. Back to like high school, I cheated. I oh, cheated. Oh, I put that on right here. Put your goggles on. Oh because you cannot God. be late to science class. Right. Show us how volcanoes work using that vinegar and the baking soda. All right! Good job. Well, hey, you you have an easy A. All right, we're going to bring out the sensitive side in you, all right? Okay. Time, I am sensitive. It's time this, for art this, class. So take a seat this right here. This is so like inappropriate. Goat. Yes, yes. <laughs> all right. Now, today we're making bowls with clay. Go for it. Wait, a what? A bowl? Like yeah. a cereal bowl? Go for it. Just try to... That's right. You okay. just... Bring it. Okay. Nice. There's a joke in there, but I better not say it. There you go. All right, there's the bowl. Is that a good that bowl? That is a beautiful bowl. Use them hands, baby. Good uh, job. Okay. You better quit hanging out by the lockers, no. get into theater class, recite oh, like a couple this. of lines from Hamlet while holding this skull. Oh, okay. Get your life. I like this. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether to snobler in the mind to suffer or to take arms against a sea of troubles, he can to read. sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end. Yeah! <laughs> All right, Melvio. Right. Come over here. <laughs> this is the last class of the day is band class, so grab your instrument and go while I blow. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Well, it looks like school is out for the day. Mario, thank you for crashing with us at our slumber party. Did you know that everybody has a favorite position? I'm talking about sleep people, okay? <laughs> and the way you sleep says a lot about you. I was doing a little research online, and I'm gonna tell you what I learned about each of our girls' sleep positions and what they mean. So grab your pillows. It's time to sleep on it! <laughs> Okay, Adrian, you're up first. Show us your sleep position. Okay, this is my favorite position to sleep in, and it's also like really warm and cozy. It's like this, you know? Oh, Adrian, that position is called the fetal position. People who sleep this way usually have a tough exterior, but on the inside, they're shy and sensitive. You look just like a little baby. Oh, thank you. Tamara, what's yeah. your position? Okay. So I have to sleep on my stomach in order to get a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. So I sleep mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> ready, ready, okay. ready, like this. Lay <laughs> down. Like Tamara this. is in the free fall sleeping position. People who sleep this way are very friendly. Although they have a free spirit, they're secretly nervous on the inside and can be overly sensitive to criticism. <laughs> That is actually very true, Lonnie. <laughs> okay. That is very Thanks. true. Very Jeannie, true. what's your sleep position? I sleep with a pillow between my legs like mm -hmm. this. Tamar, I do. Mm -hmm. And I just sleep with it like, like this. Okay. With a pillow. This is the pillow hugger sleeping position. These type of sleepers value friendships, family, and relationships, and they tend to be people pleasers and quick helpers of others. Thanks, Lonnie. Yeah. I received that. Tamar, you're up. Okay, this is how she sleeps, okay? This is the most comfortable sleeping position ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get into it. I feel sorry for Vince because you're taking up the whole bed, Tamar. Yes, she does. 
This position is called the starfish sleeping position. These type of sleepers are very loyal friends who make their friends a huge priority. They love hearing the problems of others and love going out of their way to help when they can. You could actually get to know someone by watching them sleep. Really, you know? Yeah. Welcome back. Now, what would any good slumber party be without a classic party game? Well, we've got that covered. Ladies, it is time to play Truth or Dare. Yeah. Guys, this is how it works, okay? You each have to do Truth or Dare. Now, when it's your turn, I'm gonna pick the card from this here bowl, and that's gonna decide your fate, all right? It's that simple, mm -hmm. okay. all right? You guys ready? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Right. Okay. ready. Miss Tamara? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. It's the truth. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Keep it real. Have you ever uh. gone potty in a pool? <gasps> Tell the truth. Well, Tell the truth. I mean, yeah, when I was younger, <laughs> as What's an young? adult. Oh, as an adult, have yes. I ever potted in the pool? No. Yeah. I have potted in the ocean. Oh, my God. All right, now, well, then. <laughs> On that note, you're a nasty one, but I'm going to let you slide. <laughs> so, Miss Adrian. Yes. It's your turn. You ready? Yes. OK. So, I'm going to pick. Oh, God. OK, well, now, it's a dare. Are you okay. ready? Yes. You ready yeah, to get your I'm life? Dare. I'm pretty daring. OK. You have to eat a bug, and oh. she has one on standby just for you. Ew! Oh, my Wait, God! What? Ew! Bon appetit, Wait, what Duncan. do you mean a bug? Look at you it. You said you was there and you don't care? Yeah, but come on. <laughs> it's like... a chocolate-covered grasshopper. <laughs> Get it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. So when you first go in, you know how chips? Yeah. Have, have the crunch. Have that crunch? It has crunch like chips. The outside is sweet, but the inside is like salt and vinegar chips. Oh! oh. All right, Jeannie. Jeannie, it I'm is not, your turn. Yes. Yeah, oh, my God. Okay, okay. Okay. The one screaming, I love this game. Let's okay, go. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Be nice. All right, Don't do right. something and get me in really okay, big trouble. Okay, you got you a dare, too. Okay. <laughs> Put makeup on a co-host completely blindfolded. <laughs> you go to the person that's next to you. And I say I'm also going to go to the person who put lipstick all over my face the last time we had an episode like this. I need to get her back. Help her. You guys help her. Yes. Yes. Okay, Adrian, I love you. Her. Just feel her. Is this the foundation? Oh, we're not gonna, no. I, we're not, I can't tell you. <laughs> with you. Which one would it be? Now, I don't know. I, right. I wouldn't pick nobody. I would just go by myself because I could stand. <laughs> I would die alone before I take one of y'all.